We have left Nantucket two weeks ago, and we went further down south than we had planned. From here, we have to sail up north again to reach the archipelago of the Azores. Everything is okay on board, we have no damages and the team gets along well. We have a shore crew. Our weatherman Thomas is sending his advice concerning the meteorological situation every day. He closely watches every mile we sail on the Atlantic. Seventeen days after we slipped the lines in Nantucket, we reached the island of Fayal which is part of the Azores Archipelago. Und diese ganzen Felder, die Ketten drumherum, was da ist, das ist ein kleines Teil von Ketten, das da auch in Algoscherie oder so gelegt wird. Das ist auf der anderen Seite. Ja, auf der anderen Seite. Shortly after we caught this Mai Mai, his family follows us as if they were in silent protest. Yes, to the front, to the front. We are relieved that no hurricane got in our way when we sailed over from Nantucket. Some experienced sailors had advised us not to take the job. Of course we take a drink at the famous Café Sport, the center of the transatlantic cruising world. Two days later, we leave Horta for San Miguel. This time we have a friend on board, the best guide you can have on the Azores.
Das sind die so Segeln direkt über der Uhr. Wie heißt die Karagoas? Kagaro, genau. Kataros. Kagaro. Kagaro. Despite we are sailing in the fog, the passage between Horta and San Miguel is the easiest part of our whole Atlantic delivery. We can't go on because we have strong winds from the east. Birgit is so friendly to show us some places she likes. We had a rough day in the Atlantic after we had left Ponta Delgada. But the trip from America already took longer than expected and we all need to get home now. Only 450 miles from our destination, the Portuguese mainland. We don't see it coming. We think it's just another normal evening. But then... Out of nothing, we hit a whale with our starboard swimmer. We all run to the front to see what has happened. But we can't find any water coming in, so we thought we were lucky. But then we find out that the problem it's in the back of the boat. It's in the machine room, where the water is already flooding in. We fight all night, trying to seal the leak, but it's impossible. In the morning, we find a pump in the ship that is powerful enough to drain the water regularly. We cannot be sure that we will reach the coast like this. The leak could increase at any time. We keep in touch with the Portuguese Coast Guard via satellite. We sail as fast as we can. Every hour we start the pump for 20 minutes and then let it cool down for another 40 minutes.
was very relieving to see land again, three days after the collision with the whale. In the harbor entrance, a diver was waiting for us. I'm proud of the crew, that we have kept a cool head and that we have limited the damage to the yacht as much as possible. You can't do anything against a whale, even the insurer's representative said so. We were happy to be there, and we felt like survivors. <laughs>